or an activist. I stand as a member of humanity, as a citizen of this great country, as a resident of this fine Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I believe in something very basic, something that was laid out in the founding documents of this country, that all are created equal, and that all deserve equal treatment, not only under the law, but in the eyes of society. We do not have much time here on this earth. I wish I had every a tripod. Minute, every second, every moment that we have here is precious and worth fighting for. Nobody, nobody should have the government deny them the basic civil rights and liberties given on to others merely because it defies what others might call the social norm. Nobody should have to be told whom they can and cannot love, whom they can and cannot cherish, merely because of ignorance or misperception. In this land of the free and in this home of the brave, each and every one of us has earned the right to be treated justly. That's right. The right to a fair chance. The right to the American dream. I am both proud and ashamed to have to stand in front of you here today. Proud because I know that what we fight for is something truly worth fighting for. I'm ashamed. Well, I'm ashamed that we live in a society, in a country, in a state in which this fight for civil rights is even necessary. Ashamed that we can have such strong opposition against what I believe to be basic civil liberties. Regardless of what our opposition may say, this is, in fact, a civil rights movement. The OBGT community is a class of American citizens who are treated as second rate. Civil rights movements like this, they take time, they take energy. We have to be willing to dedicate ourselves to the cause. And when I look out among you, I see plenty of people who are willing to do so. We do this not only for ourselves, who we might see full equality in our lifetime, but for generations of future Americans and citizens of humanity all across the world. We do not only fight injustice and bigotry, we fight apathy, the indifference or distress in the system that is the root of evil. We fight misunderstandings. We have elite politicians who cannot or will not understand the day-to-day -day struggles of the oppressed, of the people whom, in the name of liberty, they trod upon while pandering to the imaginary audience. We fight inaction and the timid who hold power. Eric Hoffer once said that the powerful can be as timid as the weak. He says when power is not coupled with faith in the future, it is merely used to preserve the status quo, or as our opposition might call it, traditional marriage. However, he says extravagant hope, extravagant hope, even when not backed by power, can lead us to fight for the future that we all want to go together. We cannot continue this fight without it. Unless we don't take action, when opportunities are given to us, we will fail. However, if we treat each new obstacle as an opportunity, Together, we will succeed. So I ask you, will you stand for this injustice? No! Will you fight for equality, not only within our commonwealth, but across the nation? Yes! So join with us in our fight. Leave with us in our cause. And together we will persist and prevail over the bigotry, hatred, misunderstanding, inequality, and social injustices that are dealt upon those who are LBGTQ. None are free until all are free. We are many voices, but we have one message. Nobody is equal until everybody's equal. Yeah.